Tonight we're bringing you interviews with the candidates running for the top job in the city of Tucson. Now this is a mail-in election and right now voters are sending in their ballots to decide who will become Tucson's mayor. At 5 o'clock we brought you an interview with independent Ed Ackerley. Now News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink has more from the Republican challenger, a challenger rather, in this race. What's the leading issue for you? Fentanyl. Fentanyl is killing our nation and is is prevalent here in Tucson. Janet Wittenbreaker is a contracts administrator running for mayor as a Republican in heavily Democratic Tucson. She's an outsider, new to politics. Her vision includes working on a staffing shortage within TPD. Even though fentanyl is what's most important to me, adequately staffing our police department has to be the first priority. And that happens with an aggressive recruitment effort with a better than average compensation package that would benefit existing officers as well as new recruits. On homelessness. As a society, we should facilitate help and facilitate care. As a mayor, we need to enforce our laws, one of which is an ordinance that doesn't allow for panhandling on the medians or anywhere near vehicular traffic and write ordinances that prohibit encampments and suburban camping in the city limits. Wittenbreaker says she's in this campaign to keep Tucson a desirable place to live. And our quality of life is suffering right now. And my biggest concern is if we don't clean, if we don't make a cleaner, safer Tucson, we're gonna lose our tourist industry. And if we lose our tourist industry, we lose a whole lot of service jobs. It's time to build up Tucson.